Andy Boyens comes on in place of Tim Brown. So Boyens is out there. Brown's gone. Good work from Boyens. Just ran on. Not waiting for the referee signal. Just wants to get on the park. Wood can't control. And the first touch for Andy Boyens is to send the ball long. Three minutes of time to be added on. Three minutes for Milan Makala to salvage Bahrain's World Cup campaign. He can do little now on the bench. Is there a hero for Bahrain? Al Ahmar, the red offside flag. The supporters now, the substitutes. Tim Brown is greeted on his return to the bench. Raul Blanco sitting next to Ricky Herbert. A nervous swig of the water for Herbert. He was there in 82. Almost one minute of that extra time ticking away. Salmin, the skipper, looking to inspire. Wood controls. Wood collects, Wood carries. Wood hits for the corner flag. Alibaba intercepts. Bertos. Look at the effort, look at the energy, look at the drive now. Bertos onside. Early ball played and smelts! Just too high, too hard for the Gold Coast striker. And he had Rory Fallon lurking behind him as well. The ball just a little too high for Shane Smeltz. But as you say, Andrew, the effort, the attitude, it's all there for the All-Whites. Wood now. Bahrain committing players forward. Rolls a pass for Smeltz. Smeltz wide! Smeltz wide! holes in the Bahraini defence smells with a good angled run and this one agonisingly close all hands on deck free kick New Zealand we're into the final minute of time added on Ivan Vissilic goes down looking perhaps to milk a few more seconds every single fan in white is on their feet it is pandemonium here at Westpac Stadium incredible scenes still time to play and this will only be adding more time on at the end of this game so close they can taste it can't they all the subs up off the bench just seconds remaining Bahrain with the throw in fact a free kick offside they throw everyone forward Last ditch attempt. New Zealand looking to clear. The hopes of the World Cup on their hands and they're in Mark Paston's hands. It is all over! For 27 years, New Zealand football's lived in the shadow of a great 82 side. Ricky Herbert's men have emerged from the shadows and into the light. New Zealand are going to South Africa!